Hey guys, welcome to my channel, That Groomer Guy with Jonathan David. Today we're gonna go over how to maintain your shears and extend the life of your shears and take good care of them, how to check the tension and polish them and clean them. So we're gonna be using two different examples. The first is gonna be an internal assembly dial and I'm actually using um, my signature line, uh, Lightning by Jonathan David, as my example on those and my other favorite line from Kenchi, which is the Shinobi line. So this one has an external assembly dial, and this one is just a knob on the outside. It's a little bit different. So let's dive right into this, and I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know about how to maintain your shears. Today we're gonna go over how to care for and maintain your shears. So shears are an investment in your career, and I do a lot of seminars about shears and I work with Kenchi and a lot of people ask me about how long a shear is going to last and that really depends on how well you take care of it. So I want to go over a couple of the basics just to prolong the life of your shear, how to clean it, how to check the tension and make sure that it's functioning properly. So the first thing you're going to do is you always want to make sure that you keep your shear in some sort of a case. So um, either in the case that it came in or um, some kind of a, a case, I have it open right now, but a case where you can put your shears individually so they're not stacked up inside and they're banging against one another. You want to make sure that they are in their individual case or in their own little sleeve in the case, okay? So I'm going to start, I'm going to take out my shears, and the first thing I want to do is I want to check the tension because daily use is going to affect whether your scissors get looser or tighter as you're using them. And when you cut hair, a lot of those little tiny hair particles, those little snippets of hair are going to migrate into the center of your assembly. Your assembly is the screw that holds the scissors together. Um, this is called an um, internal assembly and this is an external assembly. It has a little dial on the outside and you, ten you tighten the tension on these a little bit differently and I'm going to show you both ways. But um, this is, if you have the ones with the little decoration on the outside, they have a little screw on the inside. And the first thing you want to do is you want to hold the um, thumb hole and you want to open up the pinky breast and let it go. Now, if they close all the way and bang against each other like my shears just did, they are too loose. If you were to lift it up and they were to stay up here, they're too tight. The really ideal thing is when they close and they stop before hitting the bumper, the little rubber piece that keeps your scissors from banging together. So you want to hold this up and let it go. These are clearly too loose. So I'm going to take the little tool that came with these and the little tube of oil. And this little tool, it's metal and it's got all these little spikes on the outside. You just want to find the one that fits your scissor. On the back of the scissor, there's a little screw with uh, two little holes. And you're going to find the prongs on this that fit that. And when you do, you're going to click one click at a time, left or right. So it's going to be lefty loosey righty tight. So we're going to go one click at a time and we're going to see how tight that was. I did three clicks because they were pretty loose. Now I'm going to let that go. See how it stops just before hitting the bumper. There's a little bit of space in between. This is the ideal tension. So you want to open it up, let it go. That's the ideal tension. So if you want to do it on the external dial assembly, it's the same thing. You want to hold the thumb hole this side and you want to open it with the pinky rest and you want to let it go. Now these stop just before closing all the way. These are adjusted properly. But let's say they were a little tight and I open them up and they stay up here. I want to make them a little bit looser. And all you do is you take the external dial assembly and you turn it one click at a time, lefty loosey, righty tighty. So we're going to go one, two, I'm going to let that go and you can see it stops just before hitting the bumper. So this is the perfect tension. Now, we've checked the tension. Let's clean the scissor off. You can use a cotton ball and a little bit of regular rubbing alcohol. This is the safest thing to use to clean your shears. And you just want to hold them open and run the cotton ball along the inside of the shear. Clean off the teeth pull off any excess cotton and you can use a little bit of that alcohol to clean off any dirt and debris that builds up on the outside. You have to be careful what you use. Alcohol is 100% safe. It's going to clean it, disinfect it, and give it that nice shine that it should have. But 
if you use products like WD-40 or some of those other products, they can actually strip off the um, titanium coating and um, if you use oils and it gets kind of a smudged look, um, just use a little, a little rubbing alcohol and that'll clean these up really nicely like that. So after you've cleaned them, they're all sanitized, we're going to oil our shears now. So I'm going to take the little tube of oil that came with it and it's got a little applicator tip. You just take a scissor, not your grooming scissors, just kind of everyday household scissors and cut the very tip off and it's going to leave a very small pinhole in the tip. And it's very simple. You open your shears and you just put one or two drops of oil right there and you just want to open and close your scissor and move it around so the oil can just kind of slide over to the assembly, to the screw inside, and help to clean out any gunk, any debris, any hair, any dirt that builds up in between your scissors and around the threads of the screw. And now we're gonna check that. Now that they're nice and loosened up, they're too loose. So I'm gonna take that assembly a little tool for the assembly and I'm going to go back and I'm going to tighten it a little bit more and that's a little too tight so I'm going to go back and I'm going to do one click back and now it's the perfect tension and you can feel it doesn't bang together, there's no resistance in your wrist. So you polish it with the alcohol, you adjust the tension with your little tool, and you put a little bit of oil. Now if you have an external dial assembly, it's the exact same thing. You can take the alcohol, clean that off, do the inside, and the outside keeps your scissors nice and shiny and it disinfects them. We're going to put a little bit of oil there. I'm just going to do one drop because these were done recently. And I'm going to move it around, recheck that tension. Beautiful stops exactly where I need it to. And then you just take a regular tissue and you wipe off any excess oil that's dripping out from the assembly. You just wipe the excess like that. And now your scissors are shiny and polished and they're disinfected. They are adjusted and they're oiled. And you need to do this on a regular basis. You should polish your scissors, clean them off, disinfect them on a daily basis. And you should check the tension daily and see if they've gotten tight or loose from you using them. And it's a very quick, simple process to get them all in order. So that's how you take care of your shears. Make sure you put them away in their case. You always want to make sure that they're protected. If you buy yourself a new car and you have the choice between keeping it in the garage or keeping it outside in the hailstorm, which one are you going to pick? always keep it in its box because it's going to last longer, it's not going to get scratched, and then it's not going to get nicked in case other scissors bang against it or if you drop it and it's in its case, you have a higher probability that it's going to be okay as opposed to hitting the floor. So thank you guys very much. I have to get to the rest of these scissors and I'll see you next time on Mac Rumor Guy with Jonathan D. Thanks for watching and if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me thumbs ups. And if you want to comment anything, comment below.